Howdy and welcome back. So I've seen a bunch of questions asking where should you put your assets in your sales project? In this episode, I'm going to talk specifically about JavaScript and CSS assets. So sales uses Grunt to manage assets and Grunt generically provides ways for you to automate repetitive tasks. Sales uses Grunt for tasks like syncing files between a project folder structure and the server's public folder. But, you know, as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so the configuration of Grunt is based upon a file called gruntfile.js, found in the root of your sales project. There's a lot going on in this file. However, again, I'm gonna concentrate on the JavaScript and CSS assets. When you first create a project, we have the option of using the linker flag. I'm gonna actually create two projects, one with the linker flag and one without. So let's compare the two. Both have an assets folder, but the project with linker, not surprisingly, has a linker folder, and that's within the assets folder. In the linker example, an additional templates folder is also created. Okay, great, we have a linker folder, but so what? Well, let's add some JavaScript and CSS to both projects and see what happens. So I've replaced the index.egs file in the views home folder of both projects with some very basic markup. Next, I added jQuery to the JS folder of both projects. I also added my own JavaScript file, custom.js, to the JS folder. Finally, I added custom.css in the styles folder. If the JavaScript and CSS are being linked properly, this is what our page should look like. The custom.js file appends some HTML to the div in the index.js file. Then it will add a new class called working to the div, which will trigger the CSS located in the custom CSS file. Okay, let's take a look at the project where we use the linker flag first. I'll start sales using sales lift. The first thing you'll notice is that a hidden.temp folder is created. This is the server's public folder. Opening up this folder reveals files that have been synced with the assets folder. So we can see that jQuery, custom.js, and custom.css files have all been copied into the public folder. Next, I'll open up a browser and enter localhost 1337. Our heading showed up, but something's up with my JavaScript because the appended HTML isn't showing up. Let's take a look at the console. Okay, there's our problem. jQuery isn't being loaded. Let's take a look at the page's source. So jQuery is there, however, it's being loaded in the wrong order. Now, you might be asking yourself, how did those links make it into the page in the first place? That's where some additional grunt magic happens. Let's take a look at our layout.ejs file. Here is where the JavaScript links have been placed. Notice the two tags, scripts and scripts end. This is where Grunt will place links to any JavaScript files placed in the assets linker JS folder. Grunt will also do this for our CSS between these two tags, the styles and styles end tags. Now, you may have noticed these socket.io, sales.io, and app.js files that are being injected into layout.ejs. Not surprisingly, these have to do with Socket.io and Sales. However, for the purpose of this screencast, we can ignore those files. But we still have this ordering problem with jQuery. To fix this, we can go back into the Grunt file. And towards the top of this file is where Grunt is configured to inject CSS and JavaScript into layout.ejs. I'm going to put a path to jQuery below some other JavaScript files but before this default catch-all link. And I say catch-all link because as you can see with these asterisks, Grunt is gonna look at the linker folder and any folder underneath the linker folder, it's gonna look for any files with the .js ending. It's gonna take those files and place them in between these two tags. So now jQuery will be loaded before any other JavaScript files located in the assets linker JS folder. So let's restart the sales server and go back to the browser and reload the page. Great, now links to both our JavaScript and CSS files are being injected correctly. And just to make sure, let's go back into the source 
And yes, we can see here jQuery is now being loaded before custom JS. So to sum it up, having the linker folder provides for the automatic injection of links to any JavaScript or CSS files that are placed in the assets linker JS or the assets linker styles folders. Grunt, based upon gruntfile.js, injects these links into layout.ejs. Now let's look at the project that doesn't have a linker folder. When I start the sales server for this project using sales lift, the hidden.temp folder is also created. The JavaScript and CSS files are copied into the public folder, this time without the linker folder. I'll open up a browser and again go to localhost 1337. This time, however, we don't have the appended text from the custom.js file, nor the red color to the text from the custom.css file. Why is that? Well, if we look at the layout.ejs file, you'll notice that the style and script tags are missing. These are the tags that are automatically inserted when using the linker flag when creating a new project. Therefore, Grunt doesn't have these tags to tell it where to put the JavaScript and CSS file paths. We can, however, upgrade this project simply by adding the tags in layout.ejs. We also need to remove the paths that were initially added to layout.ejs when the project was created. Now let's go into gruntfile.js and insert the path to jQuery like we did in the linker example. Finally, we'll need to move the CSS and JavaScript assets we currently have under a linker folder. Now, when I start sales and open a browser, the appended HTML is displayed in red just as we expected. Looking at the page source, the CSS and JavaScript were injected properly and in the correct order into the page. I hope you found this helpful and thanks as always for watching.